The board and management team have been successful in addressing a range of strategic and organisational challenges. What would you say are the three critical success factors that have attributed to great outcomes for your organisation? I think the three critical factors um, are having a clear purpose, so having a really clear vision statement and understanding what your organisation is trying to achieve. Uh, I think the second is having staff who are passionate and committed to that purpose and understand it, um, which we have here at Carers Victoria, um, and making sure that they have the skills and the capacity to, to do their job, so right person, right role, right experience, all of those types of things. And then the third would be having a, a really great board. Without a doubt, a great strategy, a clear and uh, aligned strategy. That's a really important point for any organisation to be successful. Uh, a great team that is capable and competent to be able to pull the strategy together and make it all happen. And then the uh, alignment with the relationships between the executive and the board. They're the three critical issues. And being aware of the environment, what it is around the environment uh, that may impact uh, the organisation and its strategy. I think today one of the critical elements about good strategy is that it is you need to have a short-term view but with a long-term vision uh, and if you don't have that what often happens is boards fall into short-termism and there's a risk about that. Well the number one for me and it's probably logical is the people and we have a wonderful board I'm really fortunate that I have quality people a good mix of skills and a chair who is incredibly supportive. So I think that from a governance perspective, um, we are, we're really very fortunate. Uh, so that's number one. And they've made some decisions that, you know, I've, I've been really proud of them in terms of taking some risks, um, calculated risks though, and I guess that's the other thing that's been important is the evidence around our decision making. And more and more we're investing in making sure that we actually understand uh, why we're making decisions, not relying on this is the way we've already done it, or um, that somebody says this is a good idea. We, we really work hard at making sure we build a, a good body of evidence so the board are capable of making good decisions. And, and the third part, which really they all fit, flow together, I think is really a, a really capable workforce. And uh, we've been able to build across the last seven years, I think, a very experienced and committed organisation. And, and we love what we do. So for me, it's the, it's the, the board, the people on the board, the people in our workforce and uh, making good decisions with strong evidence. Make-A-Wish has achieved a lot over the last eight months. For example, we've doubled our surplus, we've increased the number of wishes we've done by 15%, we've made massive change throughout the organisation. We've done that because one, there was a burning platform for change. The organisation, when I arrived, had come through a very difficult financial period, so they knew they had to do a lot of things differently. So that burning platform was key. Secondly, there's strong respect between the executive and the board, so there's a very good working relationship. And thirdly, I think we had very clear metrics and a very clear process plan that we mapped out right at the beginning of our, of our journey. So it's really that burning platform, a very clear set of metrics and a very strong respect has allowed us to achieve a lot in a very short time.